I'm pretty sure Ozempic got me pregnant. I am 13 weeks along. Yes, I was taking semaglutide, which is also known as o Ozempic, and uh, I got pregnant. Well, those women are echoing what Whoa. thousands of others are claiming, that diabetes drugs like Ozempic or Wagovi help them get pregnant. And that has raised a lot of questions surrounding these medications that are already, of course, grabbing the nation's attention. Yeah, so it's being called the Ozempic baby boom with online forums and media outlets sharing stories of women who are diagnosed with PCOS, endometriosis, and other infertility issues, but found themselves pregnant after taking the diabetes drug. Dual board certified OBGYN and MIGS Dr. Greg Marchand joins us now to discuss this new development. Uh, good morning to you and thank you for joining us. Um, why are we seeing this? I mean, I am completely confused and baffled by this. Uh, yeah. um, so what about this drug is, is, is helping women get pregnant, whether it's by surprise or not? It's a very interesting phenomenon. It's, it's what I've heard about both on the internet and from my colleagues and what I've seen in my own practice too. And it's definitely true. What we have here is a very powerful medication that works in several ways in the body. Of course, it helps you lose weight, uh, makes you more healthy in other ways as well, lowering blood sugars, decreasing the risk of heart attack. So you've got a medication that all around increases your, your overall health, which is gonna increase your fertility. Um, but there's a second part to this too that's really powerful, uh, a very underdiagnosed very common hormonal disorder in women called polycystic ovarian syndrome. That syndrome is very well treated by this medication, although it's not yet FDA approved for that. Uh, and that is a disease that's keeping a lot of women from getting pregnant. So I'm seeing exactly what you're seeing. I'm seeing a lot of women that after I start on a GLP-1 agonist, um, after they've been on it for a while, they might come in with a positive pregnancy test and say, I didn't think I could get pregnant or my husband and I have been trying for years. We just had given up and now suddenly I have a positive pregnancy test. Uh, so it is something I'm seeing on, on almost a daily basis here. Wow. That really is amazing. I mean, uh, weight loss, diabetes, and now, yeah. and now, now this. Uh, I mean, they really, we, we, at least for now, from what we know, stumbled upon, yeah. upon a, a medical gold mine of sorts. What do you think, though, is the dominant issue? Because you kind of left the door open on two points. Is it, is it more the hormonal issue or more that overall better general right. health helps you get pregnant Wh which how much weight do you give to each of those factors in terms of uh, of the the, the the secret behind this boom well, as an OBGYN, we're always looking at polycystic ovarian syndrome and how underdiagnosed it is. Uh, and some estimates have said that up to 20% of the women in the U.S. might be suffering with this condition. Uh, it's really a, a condition that can really affect your quality of life. It causes you to gain weight, can give irregular bleeding. Um, of course, it decreases fertility, but it can also give you testosterone symptoms that can be very really bothersome, like facial hair and acne, and, and that can lead to depression. So I really feel that that's the main component here that women who might have been not have been diagnosed with PCOS and have been suffering in silence uh, are now getting treatment for PCOS because semaglutide is an excellent treatment for PCOS. Mm -hmm. Of course, as you mentioned, there's always a benefit to being in better health, diet, exercise, losing weight. Uh, those are things that are going to make you more fertile. Um, the one component that I don't think is playing a factor here is I've heard some rumors uh, about the idea that semaglutide could, semaglutide could decrease the efficacy of birth control pills, mm -hmm. make your birth control pills not work. That is not something we're seeing any evidence of. There was a fairly good study out of Germany a while back that showed the progesterone levels from oral contraceptives stayed stable whether you were on semaglutide or not. Um, so I don't think there's a, a lot of women whose birth control pills are being inactivated or something like that. Uh, I think it's the efficient treatment of PCOS and the improvement, improvement of the health in these women's lives that's leading to more pregnancies. I'm glad that you mentioned that because that was my first thought when I read the headline was thinking it's something similar to antibiotics where the efficacy of birth control is lower when you're on antibiotics, which we all know. Um, but I guess what other, excuse me, what other testing or studies have to be done in order for this to be more of a treatment for PCOS um, and, and for infertility in particular? You said it's FDA approved, obviously, for the reasons that we already know, but it's not for this necessarily. So what else has to be done in order for that to happen? 
Well, they're going to have to go down the road of doing another FDA clinical trial. These are expensive trials mm -hmm. to see how much better women do uh, on the medication who already suffer from PCOS. Uh, so unfortunately, most likely will be some time before that goes forward. Um, but in the United States, we do have the ability to prescribe things, uh, what, what we call um, outside of the indications or off-label indications. Uh, so myself and many other OBGYNs are already doing that to help patients with PCOS. And hopefully that will be more of a mainstream movement of physicians because uh, this is really a great medication to help women who suffer from PCOS uh, and there's a lot of women out there who do suffer from PCOS mm -hmm. and don't understand they have the diagnosis yet. And just real quick in 10 seconds women who are watching this and going uh oh I'm on Ozemic but I don't want no baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what is your advice to them? <laughs> don't worry, don't panic. Your birth control will still work. You don't need a backup method. Just continue to take your birth control pill at the same time every day, or you can rely on your other method like a long-acting reversible contraceptive. There we go. All right, Dr. Marchand, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it.